Hi, welcome to my channel. Josie here. I'm glad to have you back again. Hope you're doing well. I'm well myself. Thank you for tuning in and for following through this series. And today I'm coming back with part three of my sewing panties that with that fit. Thank you for watching all the previous videos. I'll attach the clip to part one over here. If you've not watched it, that's where I discussed the various patterns I was going to use. The fabrics I was going to, I intended to use and the elastics I was going to use. Then in part two, I'll also attach a link here. I'll be showing gear yeah, so along of how I got around to sewing it. Sewing different elastics. I use picker elastics and and fold of elastic. I also take you through how to sew the gusset and entirely how to sew up the panties different variety with just a few different variations here and there and today's video I'm going to sh share with you my final conclusion about the two patterns I use it's more or less a review of the patterns if we can have a recap the first pattern was a pattern by Evie Lalouve that's the Binky Pants pattern and the second one was a self-drafted pattern using the blueprint video classes of sewing pants and I'll attach a link definitely at the bottom of that particular video and how I got along with drafting my own pattern and with that if you watch the first video I shared with you that it entails you taking your body measurements and using those exact body measurements to sh to draft up a sloper for your pants which you can then use to make different variations cut it from the big full coverage panty which probably comes to your waist to be hip style height to a hipster then to a bikini which becomes which gets to be smaller and also different design design features with it and I thought I would come to you today and review the two patterns review the elastics I used and the fabrics I used how all of them determined the fit however I intended to sew up two panties from the Evie Lalou pattern La Louvre pattern, the pinky panties. Unfortunately, I ran out of elastic before I could sew up the worst of the other variation. But I, to be fair, I will compare two basic panties which have no design features to them. So with that, we can be able to tell whether the binky gave me better coverage or the blueprint class pattern. Because in all honesty, the main reason why I went into drafting and sewing my own panties is because I don't seem to find any ready to wear that gives me full co coverage, complete coverage by that I mean covering the bottoms completely and I'm using the word bottom so much I should reduce using it. <laughs> okay with no further ado let me show you this is a panty I made using the using the, the binky pattern it's actually good it's intended to be a full coverage pattern I sewed up these pan pants using this mustard cotton spandex and a matching pico elastic. I'll still call it a pico elastic even without the design on top, but it has that design feature of the gold shine. And they actually give good coverage. They're good. They're meant to be a full coverage panties. And also, this is one I made using the blueprint pattern that I drafted. So it's a full coverage panties. I thought it would be fair to compare ones that are basic panties with no less no design whatsoever and i also sewed it up using cotton spandex in black and a pico elastic and both elastics were quite strong elastics with some good amount of stretch so if i can put these panties together and i'm glad that they are contrasting colors so they can give us a clear picture of what we are working with these are what the panties look like right now if you can tell yeah the on average they are actually the same size on top and it's at the bottom that realize that one is definitely fuller than the other and we can tell that the black one is much fuller by a bit of a margin if you can see from there so now you know from this which part it definitely gave me a better fit because I was going for a full fit Given the binky panties were quite full, they could cover, but I could say it wasn't a completely full coverage for me. 
and it's still that uncomfortable place. It's not as bad as it has. I've experienced it with ready to wear panties. It gives me a bit of coverage, which would be comfortable, but because I had that an alternative of something that would give me what I was looking for and I could say I was so happy with the pattern I drafted using my measurements, the blueprint one. So if you have a similar problem that I have, that you struggle to find one that gives you full coverage, I'm almost sure if you follow through with the blueprint class and I will attach the link to both patterns at the bottom, if you follow through with it, drafting your own pattern and making the variations on there and making the alterations after you've made your slope and a trial piece, you could easily come out with the panties that really fit. So I could say from the patterns, the binky panties are good if you don't want to go down the road of drafting a pattern. They are good, they give a moderately good coverage compared to what I've experienced in ready to wear. In all honesty, I've not tried other underwear patterns before but still, I was skeptical about trying them because since they are also drafted for different sizes, I was under the impression I would have a similar problem as I've had in ready to wear. That was it with the patterns, so I can tell which patterns really worked for me. And then my next review, my other panties I made, I made a few others using fold over elastic and pick elastic. Just like in my first video, I said no elastic is the same. Even when I was sewing, I expressed different issues with different elastics I used. And I've learned my lesson when I'm looking for elastics. Given I bought them online, I think sometimes you can't make a good decision when you buy elastics online. You can't tell how strong they are and how others are not. So in comparison, I thought I'd come here with some elastics for comparison. This is a pico elastic, which I showed in my previous video. Sorry, I have everything folded over here. This is a pico elastic, which I used before. If you can tell, this is the farthest it stretches. Back, stretches. We cannot tell it, it hardly has any stretch. It's loose. The elastic is so loose, so you're most likely not to get a lot gathered with this elastic. In comparison to this pico elastic, if you can tell, it how much these stretches. Gives us average good stretch. Then I also have a black one, a piece of a black one which I use for my black andes. You can also tell this stretch is actually a bit more and this is much stronger. So in comparison, this bounces back. If we can compare the three elastics, they are all meant to be pico elastics. If we can compare the three elastics, if we compare If we compare the three elastics, I could say this is quite strong. This is much, this is also, it's actually this stretch is more than this, but it also has a good recovery. And this hardly does any stretching. And with this, when I sold up with most of them, you could tell the difference from the elastics. I sold up these panties, these ones. They're good, colorful cotton spandex. The fabric is not as stable as the neon fabric. As you can tell, we can see how the legs, this is a fail, this was a fail. You see how legs are not hardly gathered at all and the waist is gathered. Because for the waist I used the black elastic, which was giving me much stretch. And, and this, for the legs I used this blue elastic, which didn't do a good job. It hardly did any job, you see. It hardly stretches at all. So whenever you're buying elastic, it's important to look out for elastic, which is quite strong and stretchy. This is strong and stretchy, and this actually bounces back much better. And the blue one was a waste of money. It hardly stretches anything. I think this could be used for hair bands for kids. <laughs> In all honesty, no pick elastic for underwear. So I was quite disappointed with this. I had a few meters of it. But I don't know how you can tell online when you're buying it, but I bought this from this, I bought the rest of the plastics all from the same store. But from, at least if you're able to feel the elastic or get a sample, you'll be able to know what to work for you. So elastics determine much how your underwear turns out. So this I sold up using my self-drafted pattern. If you compare it to this, this, 
they are meant to be the same sizes but look at what elastic did the elastic of the blue one did to the leg space it made them look much bigger so elastics the waist elastic was good so it turned out really well on the waist but on the leg I could as well fit my waist here so this was a fail but it's good to evaluate this video is meant to review many things about panty making and for my next one I use fold of elastic and this is for I use fold of cotton spandex once again and still these are my self-drafted pattern panties and I use fold of elastic this gives me a good stretch given it looks wavy with a sewing I tagged onto it a bit more to give me a good stretch it wasn't the strongest of elastics but how, although it looks wavy it actually holds onto my legs very well and the waistline I feel I understand the waist doesn't have to be as tight because really with this slide of your body it fits on the waist but I had to tag onto the leg elastic much more to get a good stretch on them and these were also made using a different kind of fold of elastic which is a bit loose compared to this so this is still a comparison of elastics this could hardly stretch much you see the waves it created on top but in all honesty they're still wearable they fit me around the leg area i know it got wavy still a bit more here the elastic was not as strong as the red one although given the red one was still wavy but it gives me a better hold with this and probably another aspect I could review with this pant with these pants is the fabric you use. This I said was a viscose jersey I had in my stash, which held up together well. But I think it also is it's a determining factor on how the elastic holds onto the underwear, because with these two I use the same exact patterns, the self drafted pattern, but given the fabrics, I don't know, I can't show them to you. Given the fabrics that were used, this looks more stable, if you can see the back and the front, it's more stable compared to this, to this which is viscose jersey, if you can see the back. However, they both fit me. <laughs> so it depends on what you're looking out for. If you want a more flowy underwear that fits, and that, as long as the waistline fits, any fabric can work, but if you want it, you prefer your underwear stable, then definitely go for cotton spandex. It's all together well. I could say I'm really happy with how all the, oh, and there's another, which are, uh, which I changed a bit, the variation, I shortened the front panties piece and added a lace overlay, and this is still the self-drafted pattern. It came out right, even with the less overlay. The less gives some stretch, but the back has the same pico elastic, which gives it a good hold. So they equally fit as nice as the plain ones because they had the long, good elastic for both the legs and the, and the back. So I'm really happy with how these turned out. I could say my favorite ones are definitely the ones I made using, using the strong elastic. The PK elastic, my favorite. I also like this that I made using the the binky pattern. However, it doesn't give me as such a good coverage as the self-drafted one because this is made with my body measurements. And I also love how these ones turned out. Given the less the elastic looks a bit wavy and looks a bit loose. But I guess for this particular one, it has to do with the choice of fabric I used, but they still fit. And these are quite more stable, although they're elastic, actually their elastic was a good one. They are more stable, they could look wavy, they are more pulled in around the leg area compared to the waist. But you need more hold around the leg area than you do at, at the waist, since it probably sits on your hips. And I could say I had just one fail. The waist worked out well because I used the right elastic and with a good amount. And this was this did turn out right with the elastic. It hardly, it hardly stretches anything right now. So at least the lesson I've learned 
to choose the right elastic, strong elastics, one that really gives you good stretch and had the stretch back. So when you intend to make your own panties, look for the right elastic, one that's strong and stretches and bounces back. Fabrics you choose will determine the shape of your panties. Most stable needs will give you a more stable panty, unless you don't care for the stability. Then also, the patterns. If you don't care for full coverage, then feel free to use the free patterns available. Who would want to spend extra money? But if you are happy with a moderate coverage, the Binky Pants is a good recommendation. I will attach the links at the bottom. And if you really want one that gives you full coverage, I can't recommend the blueprint class anymore. You can either have a trial, you can actually apply for a trial. I don't know whether the trial is free, but they have a trial for their blueprint session and see how you like it. I, I subscribe to blueprint because I have access to a number of videos that range from a number of crafts I love to do. I love to bake ice cakes. I always get ideas from there. Then of course sewing and my next challenge probably not challenge i've had a go at it but not fully com completed it is pattern drafting and that's my plan for 2020 and i hope to get on seriously pattern drafting on the blueprint otherwise that's all i have to say about the parties thank you for watching all the three videos i previously intended to record this entire series in just two videos unfortunately that wasn't possible because the so along ended up being quite long. I tried to make it shorter, but I felt there are a few aspects that I found interesting and I thought if there's someone else who wants to venture into part making, it would be helpful for them to follow along all the steps. And thank you for whoever has taken off the time to watch all the three series. Subscribe to my channel. Left those lovely comments. Until next time. Bye-bye.